Well, we still don't have the Xbox 720 or the PlayStation 4, but an entirely new console has just been announced. It's called the Ouya. It's $99, it's based on Android, and it's an open, hackable console. It isn't meant to directly compete with the Xbox or the PlayStation or the Wii, but instead is meant to be something completely different. Every game on the Ouya will be free to play, at least at first, with developers then setting their own prices, microtransactions, or whatever it takes to monetize their games. The Ouya will become a reality if it reaches its 950,000 Kickstarter goal by August 9th. The planned controller looks interesting. It's got the usual two analog sticks, a D-pad, and eight buttons, but then it also comes with a touchpad. It's much smaller than the Wii U's touchpad. We're told it'll be between three and a half and four inches. That should make porting all of the Android touchscreen games fairly easy. For $99, the specs aren't too shabby either. They include a Tegra 3 quad-core processor, one gig of RAM, eight gigs of internal flash storage, an HDMI connection to the TV with support for up to 1080p HD, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth LE 4.0, and one USB 2.0 port. The Ouya is intended to be open, and they welcome hackers. Hacking it is easy and won't void your warranty. This does raise some concerns about the integrity of any multiplayer experiences. If the console is so easy to hack, it's likely we'll see cheaters in any multiplayer matches. But for every cheater, we could also see a tinkering developer creating a new feature or some awesome new accessory for the console. Currently, they have some pretty impressive developers on board, from Cannibal creator Adam Saltzman to Minecraft creator Mojang. Mojang says, if Ouya delivers on the promise of being the first true open gaming platform that gives indie developers access to the living room gaming market, then yes, that is a great idea. We will follow the development of Ouya and see how it resonates with gamers. I could see all current Mojang games go on the platform if there's a demand for it. In the few short hours that Ouya's Kickstarter has been up, it's already reached over 25% of its funding goal. Let us know what you think of the Ouya in the comments below. And for more news on this exciting new console, stay tuned to IGN.